this might just be the most important cybersecurity video you ever watch. If I had to do my whole career over again from scratch, if I wanted to get into cybersecurity from the beginning, what exactly would I do? Let's go. I'm going to break this video up into three different sections. Those are blue team, red team, and purple team. Because there is sort of different avenues to take to get to each of these end roles, I think it's important to understand the different pathways that I think you should take to be able to work towards these goals. Let's start off with the blue team. Assuming you know absolutely nothing about IT and cybersecurity, the first thing I would do is have a look at some free courses. Yep, free courses. There is heaps, heaps and heaps of information on the internet, on YouTube, on Udemy, on everywhere. That's free. It's all free. And it helps you to understand exactly what the industry is about and sort of how to get into it by watching these different videos. Kicking off with the blue team though, if you absolutely know nothing about cybersecurity, start off with the CompTIA. And actually, I think that applies to all three pathways here. Now, alongside all of the various different certifications you can get, I would focus on maybe two more. One being the CompTIA Security Plus. It's good. It kind of teaches you a little bit about everything. After that one, the CCD by Cyber Defenders. This is a great learning pathway as far as blue team content is concerned to aim towards that goal of getting into a defensive security position. Now, don't forget, this isn't all about certifications. I'm not just talking about certification pathways. Something I would throw into this as well is somewhere that you can learn hands-on skills and something that you can actually show on your resume. And I'm going to repeat this for all three pathways because that's exactly how it's been designed. Undertake the Safer Internet Project blue team pathway, the defensive security pathway towards gaining experience. You can do real world incident response and SOC triage on that platform. You get to actually do it. There's not just lab environments. These are like real businesses that you get to work on and get hands-on experience with, as well as guidance and mentorship. Having these two pieces hand in hand, the certifications that I just mentioned, as well as the actual experience, is a dead set way to get a job in the industry. Now, the kind of roles that you would apply for is incident response, SOC analyst, security engineer, and potentially other ones, depending on the country and the, the type of jobs that are available. And speaking of the jobs that are available, there are plenty of jobs available. The key point is they are available for people who have work experience. That doesn't have to be cybersecurity experience, just IT work experience. Why is this? Because how would you know how to defend against attacks on a system if you don't know how that system works? This is why most people employ people who have prior IT experience. That's just a given. That's just how it works. I don't make the rules. I'm just telling you what I do from scratch. Now over to the red team. The red team of cybersecurity, also known as the offensive security side of cybersecurity, is where you're doing pen testing, primarily. You're trying to break into systems. It's offensive security. How would I start if I knew nothing? Well, obviously I'd start with the A+, because that's like your entry into IT. Not even cybersecurity related, just IT. I would then look at two more certifications. Actually, three. One, the EJPT. Why? Because it's an entry level, I consider anyway, entry level pen testing cert. Two, the CPTS from the Hack the Box Academy. Why would I recommend this one? because it's cool. It's got a lot of great content. The people who I know who have done it have said that it's fantastic. Probably won't help you to get a job per se, but the content, the skills that you learn would absolutely help you to get a job. And three, potentially controversial these days, I don't know why, but the OSCP. I'm still gonna mention the OSCP. There's a lot of hate for the OSCP. I don't care about the politics of certification. All I look at is what are job postings looking for when they ask for people to have certifications. Guess which one is the top of the list on pen testing roles? You guessed it, it's the OSCP. Surprise. So again, just like the blue team, the defensive security side of things, the certifications aren't just going to get you a job. You need to actually have some experience. So again, over to the Safer Internet Project, do the offensive security pathway, get guidance, mentorship, hands-on skills, doing actual pen tests. And if you have any questions, you can ask the mentors exactly what they're doing. The whole program is built around hands-on experience and actually learning something that will help you to get a job. They also help you to get a job by like introducing you to recruiters and hiring managers and people from all over the world. So absolutely worthwhile. Last but not least, let's talk about Purple Team. Let's talk about specifically GRC. 
For this one, I would start with the A plus again, just because it's your entry into IT, like I've said now three times. It's going to help you understand a little bit about how IT works as a whole system. And this is assuming that you know absolutely nothing about cybersecurity or IT. You know nothing. Maybe you were a banker before and you want to get into cybersecurity. Awesome. This is what I'd start with. You've done the A plus. Fantastic. Love your work. Next up on the list, CompTIA Security Plus just because it touches on a little bit of everything. Now, would I get any other certifications to help me to get a job in GRC? What I would look at here is a few different courseworks out there that exist that are focused on GRC. There is one by a person I know called uh, Unix guy, I think is his name. And he has one called the GRC Academy. From what I've seen of this academy, it's amazing. It's great stuff. I have to recommend it. I'm not like biased towards anything here. I'm just talking about the things that will actually give you the skills to do the job. And this is one of them. Aside from this, you guessed it again, the Safer Internet Project. Why? Because in the Safer Internet Project, you will actually get to participate in doing different compliance audits for real businesses. You can come with me as a member to do different handover meetings with different businesses for their compliance reports, talking to the other staff, the other technical staff about what you found and how this all needs to be wrapped up. Seriously, the Safer Internet Project is all about doing things real, real stuff. So of course, I'm going to mention it because it is, in my opinion, the best option out there for actually learning hands-on experience. And that is quite literally it. That's what I would do these days. It's not even that expensive to sort of look at these different pathways and, and dive in and take them up. Can I guarantee you a job out of any of these pathways? No, of course not. That would be silly. What I can guarantee you is that you're going to learn something. You're going to learn about the things that you could do to get to each of these pathways. What's actually included in each of these pathways? Which of these job titles are the ones that you want to focus on as a, a main title to work towards? I very much believe in following a pathway towards success and following what actually interests you. Don't get into cybersecurity if you just want money. Don't get into cybersecurity if you think you're going to be like Mr. Robot. Get into cybersecurity if you think it's really, really cool. Because it is. It's super cool. Of course, I'm biased because, you know, this is like the industry that I love so much. But following those three pathways towards success is a success story. And I know it works because I've mentored people to go through these exact pathways before. And I've seen their successes. I'm talking the US military. I'm talking the Australian military. I'm talking private organizations like KPMG and PwC and Deloitte. I'm talking about people starting their own freelancing businesses to take these pathways towards something that they want to sell as a service. This is all of the important stuff that you need. It's it's really this simple to get yourself. A anyway, there's links in the description on each of those pathways on exactly what I do. None of them are affiliate links. They're just me helping you to find the pathway that works for you. If you enjoyed this video, please do let me know in the comments below if you think there is a better option for any of these three pathways or maybe another pathway. Please let me know in the comments below. And until the next video, which should be tomorrow or the day after, I'll see you there. Have a fantastic night, day, afternoon, morning, whatever it is for you. Happy hacking out there, guys.